So I'm Gary Dwyer, I'm the UK gas manager for Radio Systems, so I look after the uh, four gas distribution network companies that we uh, deal with on a daily basis. So um, a major um, initiative at the moment within the gas industry is uh, introducing hydrogen, uh, initially a hydrogen blend into the UK uh, gas network, uh, initially looking at a 20% blend. Uh, and we are involved in many um, various projects with the, the four gas companies and their stakeholders and partners, uh, which are designed to prove the suitability of the current range of polyethylene pipe and fittings within that future network. So part of the um, scope of the supply that we've uh, sent up to the Research and Development Centre in Cumbria is basically being used to replicate a 100% hydrogen network. Um, to simulate what uh, the effect of that would be within the existing gas network. So one of the benefits of the operations at um, the uh, network uh, facility has allowed Radio Subterra to perform some of their day-to-day on-site activities as well. Um, so they have undertaken operations such as line stopping uh, with a minimus line stop, um, bagging off and squeeze off and uh, stop pulling operations as well. So the test data and information will be collated and verified by DNV and it will be used to build the safety case for the use of hydrogen within the UK gas network which will be presented back to Ofgem as part of their studies. So my name is Clara Wescar, I am one of the senior project engineers at DNV research facility. Um, my job here is to carry out projects um, and testing phases within those projects um, and I would just do all the engineering support um, throughout the construction and then carry out the testing programs, providing test procedures um, and then doing the data processing analysis and reporting. We're currently working on the H21 Phase 2A together with our project partners, um, NGN. As part of this phase of the project, we constructed a testing facility, um, which is essentially a small gas network um, from high pressure to uh, distribution um, low pressure. As part of the testing phase, we're looking into different network operations um, such as um, purging or um, finding leaks, accessing leaks and all the other um, sort of things that the networks have to do to um, manage the network. Um, so we've been conducting them with 100% hydrogen uh, to ensure that the operations can be carried out safely. Microgrid construction started in October 2020 and it was finalised by March 2021. We used uh, all sorts of components um, due to the wide range of um, sizes of PE that we've used and we source components from um, radius systems um, such as pipe and fittings uh, but also from other manufacturers. For the last six months we've been carrying out different types of testing in the microgrid including purging operations, uh, we've also been doing some um, flow stopping operations um, and we've tried um, accessing leaks and finding leaks in the system. Um, we've also been looking at different repair techniques uh, and whether they are still suitable um, with hydrogen. Eventually, we were also able to connect the Phase 2A facility with the microgrid to um, the H21 Phase 1 facility with high street houses and the WBS5 flow loop. And we've also been able to trial some of the new uh, technology on the boilers, which are being used in the, in the high street houses um, to ensure that they can be also safely used with hydrogen. So the next steps for the project will be to analyze all the, all the data that we've gathered. Um, we'll report the main findings for, from such data. 
um, and in doing so we'll probably be able to identify other areas that require further testing uh, which will probably be carried out um, in the remainder of the year in 2022. So aside from, from H21, uh, at DNV Research Facility, we're involved in many other projects related to the com hydrogen conversion of the um, gas network. So we're looking at other areas like the transmission system and how um, that conversion can happen safely. Mm -hmm.